Let's go back to the year 1994. Since early 90s, number of unusual performance gains during races is observed in professional cycling. However, Flesh Vallon race is remembered as one of the most astonishing performance demonstration in sports history ever. The kind of unexplainable mismatch raised a lot of questions. The race that year was 205 km long. The Italian Moreno Argentine and two of his teammates, Yevgeny Berzin and Giorgio Furlan, rode away from the rest of the peloton with 72 km still remaining and pulled away from the really strong chasing group. Despite of incredible effort by the likes of Lance Armstrong, Claudio Ciappucci and Gianni Bugno, they finished well clear of the rest. Afterwards, Armstrong said, they crushed us. It was obvious to many observers that what they had witnessed wasn't natural and questions were asked. The fact that a number of Dutch professional cyclists had died of blood clots in early 90s due to improper EPO use made the call for professional sports medical care louder. After the race, French sports newspaper journalist Jean-Michel Rouet asked Dr. Ferrari if the riders from Jewish Ballant team used EPO. I do not prescribe this thing, but the EPO is freely available in Switzerland. For example, without a prescription and if a rider uses it, it doesn't fundamentally alter the performance of the rider. EPO is not dangerous. It is the abuse that is. It is also dangerous to drink 10 liters of orange juice. In addition to Jewish Ballant victory in Flesh Ballant, the team also took victories that year in Tirreno Adriatico, Milan San Remo and Lille Baston Lige, won by Berzin. However, their domination of the sport would not continue as other teams would play catch up. Now let's watch Flesh Vallon race highlights from 1994 where I was trying to mark some important details. Armstrong and many others felt cheated by the sports group that appeared to be doing professional epidoping under supervision of sports medicine specialist Michael Ferrari. At the time, Dr. Ipo established its reputation as a speed maker. Lance Armstrong later was to say Schumi to the doctor because the German racing driver Michael Schumacher was sitting in a Ferrari racing car and collecting world titles. A man like Ferrari came in at the right time 
because he was of the opinion that EPO posed no great danger if the correct dosage was used. After his bold statement, he was fired from Jewish Balan team. But the big days of Ferrari were yet to come. <laughs>